Welcome everyone to a, another Chaos and Comics comic haul. We don't have Zachary here. He's sleeping. He's here. He's in the back room. He's yeah. Like, so I'm on the couch. Basically, just don't do your high-pitched squeal that you do. I might do it. I, I might wake him up. He's already. It's, he's probably been sleeping a couple hours. Right? There's a dog here. Dog's in the camera, too. Where's the other dog? Uh, you know her name. I know. What's her saying, name, dude? Why do you, you know the other dog? If you don't see your dog for like two hours or longer, you should probably go look You've known dog. these dogs their whole lives. What's this one's name? That, that is uh, Ella. Oh, you, dude, you, ba know. you babysit these dogs, know. dude. You babysit these dogs. I'm just saying, I would check on my dog right now. I feel like... Uh, I'm bad with uh, dog names. I feel well, like... Your dogs confuse me, even though they don't look alike. <laughs> for some reason, it's just... <laughs> I don't know, I don't, it's weird. Dude, I feel like... Uh, I feel actually hurt right now that you don't know these dogs for four years. You've known them. You've they they've slept at your house. Well, she looks like a white dog from the look how she's sleeping. So they, I, they, you gotta give it to me. They've slept at your house. I know, but I'm just saying they've slept at your house, and you and you don't know, dude. This like the week they spent at your house like a year ago. That makes you sad. Did you did you literally not know to call them by different names? No, dude. No, just like man. dog one, dog no, two. No, man, no way. Okay. Anyway, let's do a comp. Oh, dude. That's what kind of, Why would you do that to her? That's on video. Yeah, I'm sorry, that was an accident. She still loves me. Yeah, well, okay. are we doing a comic review or are we doing a dog's uh, 101? Well, I mean, this at any time, you know, this could turn to a dog channel. Let me let her out before we, we could do it. like We could do like the best dog treats and uh, dog parks and stuff, you know. Okay. Well, I'm into dogs, so I'll... No I'll longer... Do you're into dogs? Yeah, no I'm longer... Dogs. It's a weird fetish. No, no longer dogs. a dog video unless Ella comes over. All here. right, we'll do a comic book video. Anyway, let's do a um, let's see what I grabbed today. So we're gonna do the, the same thing we normally do. Do a top three covers. I want you to bring it down to the top three. Okay, uh, number the first one I'm gonna show is Cold Blood Samurai number four. Uh, this is a sort of animal an anthropomorphic sort of animals, uh, very influenced by like a ninja, animals, ninja like turtles and stuff. More like salamanders and frogs. Oh, turtles. That are samurais. I influence the idea all comes from the Ninja Turtles. You you can't get away from that feeling Ninja Turtle ish, you know? Which uh, is one of the best I mean, yeah. video game cartoons that are, what movies. Comic books yeah. where it comes from. This is uh Justice League Dark number twelve. That's a swamp thing cover right there. Uh, so my for some reason my uh comic store can't discern between their system can't discern discern right now between a and b covers yeah so this is the b cover where there's no like justice league dark up here it's just the picture and i miss number 11 because they put in the the a cover so i have like 10 no 11 12 i have to go find 12 this is not in my top three it's just a you just know it's just like a teacup and a sword or something on it okay i don't know i read i respect that like, I, mean, I mean yeah um Martian Manhunter. I actually got behind as far as reading this, but uh, Steve Orlando's done really good, or done a real good job so far. And the artwork by Riley Rosmo has also been um, very strange, weird sort of looking. Really fits that like fluid Martian Manhunter sort of his powers and where he's where what he's doing, what he is. Um, if anyone has been watching any of my comic hauls or any of my reviews, you know. I've been very lukewarm towards the Age of Rebellion, Age of whatever series. Uh, but this is the Darth Vader one. So this is the one that they can't drop the ball on. The Luke Skywalker one is actually good. So I haven't read this Darth Vader one quite yet. Uh, Thanos number three. A lot of this is um, a cover buy, but I also like Teeny Howard. That's probably what pushed me over. Uh, but Jeff DeCall, I rarely buy a whole comic for the covers. But Jeff DeCall is a great painter. This might not be my favorite of his, but um, it's, a, it's one of the artists that I follow that comes from like the Marvel school. Uh, Del Mundo. Oh, that's not a Del Mundo. I thought, oh, you, I thought you only got like four comic books at a top, a top three. You had more. You have like about seven or eight. Yeah, but when I was making you do top fives, you were doing like, uh, it was like a big ass stack. It was like 20 comic books sometimes. Uh, Thor, War of the Realms. Um, the last issue was about Cole. Mike Del Mundo's great. I don't think he's doing this issue. The artist, guest artist is Scott Hepburn, um, which to be honest, I think he's a good artist here, but um, they should have got a more painterly guy because Del Mundo has a, a more paint style, as you can see from that cover. Conan the Barbarian. So I stopped buying Savage Sword of Conan. That first run was good, but Jerry, they're just doing like Jerry Duggan and then a new team. 
So just to save money, I quit buying that one. But Jason Aaron, I'm going to stick with the Jason Aaron one. And um, that's a, a, another co pretty cool cover. It's not his best. I forget what's his name that does them. Drives me nuts here. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I can't remember who did this cover, but uh, I like them. So there's those. Last War of the Realms. Man, I gave number five a D, I think. It's just been all over the place. Hasn't been really that good. Uh, especially what I expect from Jason Aaron. So here's the last one. I'll review it. Hopefully it's decent. I know that there's one more like Omega kind of thing after it, I believe. Uh, but not not very excited about the main this War of the Realms. This is Rebic. 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 That's who it is. Yeah, he does real well. And But some of the side stories have been really great. I've dropped a lot of them, even ones I've liked, like Agents of Atlas, which the reviews have... You know, got a decent amount of listens from Filipinos because there's the first appearance of a Filipino in, in Atlas. Uh, and I'll pick those up eventually. But this is the one that was great. This one was so good. This one was so good that I actually texted in our thread with a couple of other friends. I actually texted oh, I like you panels. Cover. Yeah, I like that cover. Panels from this. Um, and, uh, and I put it on the Instagram too. Just real basic uh, Frank Castle where he goes, he has a doctor if she's... The doctor asks him if he has a soul after he does some punishing. And he goes, you ever patch up a soul, doc? You ever order a soul transfusion? Don't shove that shit at me. But, you know, he doesn't actually cuss. But anyway, uh, very well, good like cover. like I had. Huh? He was like I had. Oh, at the end there, he goes... Uh, like the, I had a soul. Had, yeah. I, had. I even believe you had a, you have a soul. He goes, had. Because obviously he's, uh, he's had it tough. Juan Ferreira is the cover artist there, so I'm not even used to his cover art. And then last, beautiful cover. Last but not least is the oversized Batman Damned number three. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic there. Um, very dark Batman with John Constantine, and I flipped through it. it looks like Swamp Thing's in here too. So very very dark um, magazine sort of size number three. That's over. I just sold number. I sold number one of this. Oh, did you? For uh, 60, 65 bucks on eBay. So I'm selling comics to buy comics. It's an addiction, I think. You know what I mean? I'm surprised you didn't keep that. Uh, I'll sell stuff. I like to read them, dude. I'm a collector, yeah. but I'm trying not to be such a collector kind of guy. You, you, know? Know, you like to collect because you just bought about 20 comic books. Yeah, but I like to read them too. You know, I'm, I check a lot out from the library, as people that watch reviews know. Okay, so I, I take it you're gonna sell this damn <coughs> number three because you no, because the print runs. runs. The pr well, I mean, I probably will read it. We'll see. The yeah. print runs have been so high, or I'll buy a second or third printing of number no. one for five bucks. I could have got, I could have got you about sixty six dollars from someone that I know. Oh yeah, sixty yeah. six. Yeah. I mean, Let's see. What's the top three? All right. So, so this is three right here. Yeah. Okay. So. Not on Angelo's top three covers. Number three is the Del Mundo cover. So Venom and Thor yeah, caught a, you and the painting. It's a good colors on there. Who doesn't like Thor? Venom's coming out. Yeah. Staring them down. You know, it's a good. So they actually, the, the ending to this is going to involve, because they took Venom from Eddie Brock in this storyline yeah. and, and basically put him in a, in a, in a sword. All right. And that's how, that's how Thor's going to win using a Venom sword or someone is going to win that way. Okay, that, for the Punisher... That you, the one that you actually vocalized liking came in number two. Number so I'm two. very curious what number one is. Uh, what do you like about this cover? I mean, it's dude, it's Punisher on top of a, a grave, just Punish, you know, just yeah, with a bunch of yeah, with a, yeah, that's a bunch of elves. So he's fighting the Thor villains here. Yeah, I mean, it's a good cover. What he yeah, you know, I like about that. He just, yeah, those are the he just took care of his got his nine to five done. You know, got his job done right there, and just going home to eat or something. Looks cool. I want to show you um, something you're probably gonna like because it's coming out. So he's gonna get caught up in one of the Thor weird realms. Yeah, where he's not gonna be killing mobsters. He's gonna be killing, uh, you know, dark elves or whoever he's fighting. So I'm excited for Punisher Kill Crew, and that's probably going to be a cover that's going to end up on one of your lists Kill Crew. when it's bigger. Like that's him. That's Punisher in a painting with an axe chopping off heads of like With bad elves, orcs, elves, frost giants. All the I'm sure he's going to go through all the realms of Thor. And then number one, nice. I'm surprised this. I'm surprised this. Uh, is your number one. This is a Greatest Moments variant. Oh, I bought the variant accidentally. I don't normally buy variants, but if it made your number one, it's probably worth it. What do you like about this? What what, what uh, shot out? I mean, I just like how you got the sword, you got, you kind of, you kind of have Darth, like, 
in the shadows almost, right? He's kind of, kind of coming out right Vader, there. Vader, so you could see him in the black. Yeah, so good kind of stylization yeah, of it. Very cool. Anyway, that is my comic book haul for what day is it, dude? 26th? Today's uh, June 26, 2019. It's my comic book haul for June 26th, and you saw the top three covers of what I bought, according to Angelo. And Batman Damn didn't make it, huh? No, it's a horrible cover. <laughs> Thank you. Good Bermejo's great. Thank you guys for watching.